Today we're going to start off on this little trellis. I recently replaced this 5x5 five five bed that was built from wood from an old barn we tore down from the back of our yard here. And um, so it's recently filled up with fresh compost, green beans, sowed, and now I'm going to come in with cucumbers on the back. These are not for pickles. I have plenty of pickles I preserved this year. This is all going to be for just fresh eating throughout the rest of the summer and through the fall. So let's get to planting these cucumber seeds. I just go down about a quarter inch, half an inch down. And I do my cucumbers pretty close because they're growing up this trellis. So I do them about every four to five inches apart. Next, I have four raised beds on the outside of my garden here that I have sown zucchini in for a fall crop of zucchini. In each corner of the bed, I'm gonna put these teddy bear sunflowers. They're so cute. I think they're a, a dwarf container variety, so they're not going to go too grow too tall, and they're going to be really pretty right here in the corner of my raised beds. So, pepper harvesting. We have lots of Anaheim peppers here. I thought they were sir cayennes. This is two years in a row I've gotten mixed up on what peppers I've sown that have germinated. I thought these were cayennes, but they're Anaheims once again. I did go and purchase a couple of Anaheim plants from the greenhouses. So I have cayennes now, but they're still a ways out from producing a good bit of peppers. So for now, we're harvesting our cayennes, and I freeze these and use them as sweet peppers throughout the year. You can harvest these Anaheims green, orange, or red. They're so good in all stages. Next up are jalapenos. You can tell a jalapeno is ripe when it starts developing. And it starts developing these little lines throughout the peppers. If they don't have these white lines, they're not fully ripe and they're not at its hottest peak. So make sure you get these little white lines throughout your peppers before you harvest your jalapenos. There's a bunch of them that are really green, like that, but it doesn't have its white lines yet, so we don't pick those. Squash bugs have taken over my spaghetti squash right here, so I don't think I'm going to get any spaghetti squash. But the good thing is, is we have plenty of cantaloupe that is growing. I think I counted six really good sized cantaloupes over there. Jalapenos. I like to chop these up and pickle them and use them on tacos. Next, we're going to cut off all of our spent rose tips here. So we can encourage more flowers. These are knockout roses. Coral. I love, I love knockout hey. roses. I'm much better with knockout roses than the, than the other roses because these you don't really have to do this to get in the next flush of roses because they just, they will flush out anyways. But I just like it for helping it along and keeping, um, look, keeping it looking good. And also I was talking about weeds a while ago. These weeds right here, I hate this. I want this eradicated from my garden. They develop seeds under their leaves and they spread everywhere so what I'm doing is trying to pull up as much as these I can before they go to seed. It's hard because they are everywhere, they're in the soil, they're spread through the mulch, they just sprout everywhere. And this bed here is not filled up yet with soil. So we're slowly getting to that and they're just sprouting from the ground. So I'm going around as much as I can and pulling those up. Even the tiny little seedlings there's some this little rock bed around the water bath, they're terrible. So if you pull your weeds before they go to seed, is you're gonna have a better chance of eradicating them from your garden over time. Let's finish this rose up. Size cantaloupe. Another one. And another one in here. Cantaloupe, yay. The last task for today is to check some of this corn. This is the bilicious corn. It didn't look that great this year. It grew a lot smaller. Oh yeah. It was a lot smaller than I thought. 
lot smaller than the peaches and cream back behind it. But I think we have some small ears that are ready for dinner tonight. Some small ears that are good for eating the night for supper. So that is it for today. Did a little bit of maintenance, a little bit of pepper picking, picked some small ears of corn. Like I said, that patch right there just did not grow to its full potential. I need to fertilize that bed. I should have fertilized more throughout the season. I'm terrible about that, about fertilizing. Very bad about it. And then we have some of this corn here to grow. And we got very nice size ear right there. But maybe ready right now, let's see. You know your corn's ready when this is dried all the way back. Oh yeah, that's a nice size corn cob there. So we'll be picking this corn, peaches and cream very soon. But thank you for coming to Daniel's backyard. Come back again and see more food being grown and harvested.